I'm Wang Chen, professor of women's studies and history at the University of Michigan. This paper cut art form has been in China for a long, long, long time. It's one of the major art forms in Chinese folk art. And the main artists, historically and so far, have been women. And very touching stories of how women in villages have been taking on these art forms. And the villagers will ask for the artist to uh, cut some paper cuts for special occasions. Wedding, childbirth, uh, Chinese New Year. These local women artists, by producing this kind of artwork, which is a very important part of villagers' art life, cultural life, they gained a tremendous prestige in the community life. As far as we no, this set was collected by Professor Michael Oxenberg. My feeling is that he might have collected when he was studying Chinese politics, he was a political scientist, in Hong Kong during the Cultural Revolution, because this set was made between 1970 and 1971. And then when he left here, left the University of Michigan, he donated this to Center for Chinese Studies. So it has been there in the storage for a long time. Just recently, Center for Chinese Studies staff, Carol, found that. She asked me to take a look to see. And I was stunned by this discovery because I found it's highly valuable. What struck me as extremely valuable is that this paper cut set has um, 15 images total. The 15 images is a very coherent historical narrative of the Cultural Revolution. Of course, this narrative is constructed or was constructed by the artists of that time. What caught my attention is the, first of all, it's the completeness. Second is the producer. It is not by, if it's produced by Central Academy of Arts. This one produced by an art institute in Foshan in Guangdong province. Foshan is a small town at the time, now it's a city far away from Beijing. So it's not like something authorized or commanded by the party leadership. So that means this large art set was kind of spontaneously produced by the local artists. They were young, budding artists. So it's to understand how they understood the Cultural Revolution at the time. And I'm also in the process trying to identify those surviving artists to interview, to really understand the actual historical process of producing this. Cultural Revolution is a very controversial subject. The Contemporary historians or scholarly definition of it is that this is a period that Chairman Mao tried to fight against the bureaucracies of his party. So he relied on Red Guards, young students outside forces to uh, fight against the party leaders. This set includes the, all the major events in the Cultural Revolution. It started with the title page. The title said, uh, Long Live the Proletarian Cultural Revolution. And it has a red flag, and the title is on the flag with Mao's image on the flag. And then there's the Tiananmen Square. The first one is named as the inception of the Cultural Revolution, tells us how important the cultural front is to the Cultural Revolution. The other one is, this image has a flag carried by young students, they're on the long march. And this is also a, quite a major event at the time. All the young students, you know, were mobilized, they were called on by mall to visit all the revolutionary sites during that time. Schools were stopped, so the students were encouraged to learn from the society, from the history. So a lot of students were on the road. There are also the events critiquing the bourgeois intellectuals. Mao and his wife, they identified the targets to condemn. Then it 
end with Chen Mao's thoughts, long live Chen Mao's thoughts, and Chen Mao's thoughts impact, the global impact. The whole set has been digitized, and uh, it's stored in the digital library production service at the university library.